Hi everybody, this is Lady Sweetheart here with a very special and unique kind of video. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to create your own set of default replacement eyes from a set of non-default eyes. And the reason I decided to do this video is these eyes you see right here on Bella, I just converted. Um, these are now my default replacement eyes. And in the process of doing them, I found that it, it just took so long and it was so hard to get up-to-date information. And it wasn't that it was hard, but the fact that I couldn't find up-to-date information was what made it take hours and hours. And so I thought, you know what, as far as I know, I wasn't able to find an up-to-date video showing people how to do this. And so I thought, you know, why not make a video and save somebody else <laughs> the hours and hours of work that I had to do to get to this point. So very briefly, let's just talk about the different kinds of CC eyes that you can have for The Sims 4. Um, basically, there are three types of CC eyes. One is the default replacements, which are the ones that replace the EA eyes. They basically are an override for the EA eyes. And that's what we're going to learn how to make today. The second type of CC eye is the what we call non-defaults. And so that would be like these. And so today we're gonna to learn how to switch these kinds of eyes to a default replacement eye. There is also a third kind of CCI, which is what we call face paint, or some people call them contact type CCIs. And those are available in the face paint section of the makeup. And I do have several of those. So like, for example, these all would be face paint type eyes. And the difference is with the face paint eyes, they only apply to whatever outfit you're on. So for example, they appear here, but when we scroll over to Bella's formal, they're not there. And the other thing is the face paint eyes that we see here, they do not apply to the genetics. So. You can't use these types of eyes for the video that I'm doing to make the defaults. You would have to actually first convert these to a regular non-default. So to sum it up, we're gonna learn how to make like this type of eye into a default override package. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that you will need if you want to do this is you will have to download the Sims 4 Studio app that you see here if you don't have it already. And it is pretty easy if you go to the website, just downloading it, it will basically tell you there is a version for PC as well as a version for Mac. And so basically you just download this and distract it and you will have the app. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I will leave the link to that in the description in case anyone wants to get it. So on my PC, I do have the Sims 4 Studio app on my desktop. Now, when you open the folder, there is a bunch of stuff and I could be wrong, but I believe that you have to keep all of these folders. Otherwise the app will not work because I think I tried deleting them once and the Sims 4 studio didn't work without them. Maybe it's changed, but my advice would be just probably to leave all of it as is, <laughs> but what you're going to need is the one that looks like this and it says the application. And so we're going to click on that. And once this comes up, basically you're gonna use Sims 4 Studio for both of the steps that we need to do to convert the non-default eyes into the default eyes. The first step is we're gonna to have to export the swatches from our non-default eyes that we want to make default. And then the second step is we are going to import those swatches into our default override package that we want to override the EAI. So if you think about it like that, that those are the two steps we need to do. It's a little bit easier to kind of understand what we're gonna be doing. And like I said, you can actually do both of these with The Sims 4 Studio. I'm gonna X out of this so it doesn't look as confusing. So what you're gonna wanna do, um, like I said, the first step is we are going to export the swatches from the non-default eyes that you want to convert. So once you have Sims 4 Studio up, all you do is you click on My Projects, and then you're gonna look for the CCIs that you want to convert. 
So for me, I do have a folder in my mods folder with non-default eyes. And so let's say I want to make a package of defaults for these G4 gopples and meat non-default eyes that I already have. So we're going to open those. The ones that I have right now that I just showed you, by the way, are the Gopples Me G16 eyes. So you'll see a screen like this. It, I think it can be a little intimidating. At least it was for me <laughs> when you first start using it because it's like it just looks so technical. But I promise you it's not. If we zoom in, you can see these are what the eyes look like. You can kind of see and you'll see over here in this box are all of the swatches. Now, you could choose if you wanted to make an EA override file for default eyes with all 30 colors. However, most choose to just override the original 18 colors that exist. So now that we have our non-default eyes package open, we're gonna create a folder. And for me, it's just convenient to work out of the desktop, but you can do this wherever in your computer. It's accessible and easy for you to use. And I'm gonna just title it G4 Swatches. So when we export the swatches, they're gonna go in here. And the other thing that I like to do, since the colors don't line up exactly with how the EAIs are, is I do like to pull up an image of the default eye colors that come in the Sims 4 game. And this looks like a pretty good photo. And what happens is when we do our override package, the EA swatches that we want to override will appear in numerical order. So this will be like number one, number two, number three. And so when I export the swatches, I think it's easiest to just convert and call them by the number. So the first EA color that we're gonna override is this dark brown or black color. Um, this will be color number one when we go to override. And so to me, I think this is the one that matches that best. Maybe this one, I think I'm gonna choose this one though. And that's what's nice about this is you can actually choose which colors override the EAIs and make them kind of the way you want them. You don't have to do them in the same order, but what will happen is like for the pre-mades, like for example, we saw Bella, she had like the light brown eyes, which appear like, I'll show you, like over here. If I converted these just in order that they are here, she would end up with this eye color. So the pre-mades will end up with like some kind of funky eye colors. If that doesn't bother you, then you don't need to worry about it. But I wanted to keep them the same. And so if you want to do that, you're gonna wanna match the numbers up with the EA swatches. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna export. So right here where it says export, you're gonna click that. Um, and we don't want it to go here. I want it to go to my newly created G4 swatches folder. So you click on that and then I'm gonna title it D for default. I'm just gonna say D1 brown um, because it's one of the brown colors and I'm gonna save that. And if you look, it did send that swatch here into that swatches folder. You can even see a lovely little picture of it there. And then we're gonna keep doing that for each color. So the next one is the next to darkest brown. So I would say to me, um, I'll double check, but I think this is a good one to override that. So then we're gonna export that. Now it should come up with the right folder and it did. So I'll call that D2 brown. And then you just keep doing that for each color. And like I said, I like to use the EAIs as kind of my guide in what order to go to, because when you go to import them to your override file, it's gonna be so much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that for each eye color until we get all 18 swatches. One other thing that I did want to mention also is as you're exporting them, it is important to make sure it says save as type ping file because there is also this DDS image option. And the old way of doing it required DDS. So I went through and actually did that for all the swatches when I did the other package and found out later that that doesn't work. But I do think it automatically populates with ping, but just kind of make sure that that's what comes up as you're exporting the swatches. So you're just gonna continue to do that until you get to your last swatch that you want to use for your defaults. Um, so as you can see, we do now have 18 swatches. So once you have all of that, you can actually 
temporarily exit out of Sims 4 Studio. You don't need to save anything or anything like that because all we really wanted to do was extract those swatches. So once you double check that you have all of your swatches, you do want to go ahead and open Sims 4 Studio back up again. And this time what we are gonna be doing is we're gonna go to this cast category here and you're gonna click on override because now we're gonna import those swatches we just exported in to an override file for the EAIs. So you click on override and then one thing that tripped me up when I was doing this is you have to make sure you type in a creator name. It could be anything, it doesn't even really need to be yours, but if you don't, it just, it won't let you proceed. I thought that was a little strange, but it is what it is. So once you click override, you just click cast and it will spin like that. And we're gonna go all the way over to where it says part type. And then you're gonna arrow down to where it says eyes. So we're gonna look for eye color. That's the one we want. So you will see these trusty little EAIs pop up. And we're just gonna click on all 18 of these colors. If you wanted to, you could also do this for the alien eyes like from get to work or the vampire eyes i didn't decide to do that like i said i wanted to kind of keep it simple just to show you what you need to do um, then we're going to click next and we're going to have to give this a name so since these are the gopples me g4 eyes i am just going to call these g4 gopples me default eyes. You can call them whatever you want and it will automatically become a package file. Um, I don't want to save it in G4 swatches though. I think I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Um, just, so just pay attention to where it's saving up here. It does, I mean we could save it with the swatches but I just don't want to. So then it will kind of spin like this and we'll have a new package up here, our new default package that we're gonna be working on. And as you can see, it will show you the original EA default eye colors and they will be in the order that we were looking at earlier. So that's where I said it's a lot easier, I think, if you label them. So see how they're like one, two, three, four. Now when we look at our swatches, you can see that they are labeled like one, two, they correlate with the colors in there. It's just gonna make this next step so much easier. So again, what we're doing now is we are importing these swatches to override these EAIs. So you're gonna go down here, don't mess with any of this. All you're gonna do is when we're clicked on this, we're gonna import our number one swatch, which was this one. So you just click on D1 brown, our number one default color, open, and it will do this. And then we're gonna go to our second color. And then we're gonna import again for our D2 color, open. And we're gonna do the same thing for the third color. We're gonna go D3, open. And you'll see it keeps spinning after each one. Now, really quick, as I said, the one that we were working with, the non-default package had 30 colors. If I wanted to add 12 other colors, I could do that. You can add the swatches um, and it'll let you pick the color down here where it says swatch thumbnail. Um, or you could remove it. Like I said, if you don't want these red eyes, you could click remove swatch and they're gone and your default eyes won't include red eyes anymore. So once you have imported your very last color, what you are going to do is you're gonna come down to the bottom and you're gonna click save. And it will say your package has been saved. So the file that I had put into my desktop, G4 Gopples Me Default Ice Package, is going to be our new default eye package. So you will now be able to take this file that you just made and you're gonna put it in your mods folder as your new default eye. Okay, so we are back in the game with the goth family and what I actually did was I removed my typical mods folder and just created a new one with just these eyes. So I'm having to <laughs> do this the old fashioned way since I don't have MC Command Center installed. But I just thought, you know, the game would load faster that way. And honestly, I wanna keep the default eyes that I was already using. Um, but I wanted to load this one up just to kind of show you that it does work. So as we hop into cast with Bella, we should see that new default eye package 
that we just created and it looks like it is but as you will see these now replace the EAIs. So anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. I tried to be as thorough as possible, but if there are any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, one thing I wanted to add really quick is please make sure that if you do this, you don't upload those files. This is something that you really should only do for your own personal gameplay um, because it does violate the CC Creators Terms of Use to re-upload their eyes. But yes, hopefully you found this video helpful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. I'd also love it if you consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Drop a comment below and let me know how it went. And I'll see you all later. Bye.